Hello everyone. This quick video is to demonstrate how to use acrylic paints to paint some of your components um, of your toilet paper sculpture. So if you don't have watercolor um, acrylic paint, which is fine, we just need to water it down a little bit. So I am going to work on painting my pickle slices. And so I've got a little bit of green paint and some white paint. And what I've done is found a reference picture online of pickles because I want to see what they actually look like so I can try and replicate that color. So I noticed there's quite a bit of yellow in here compared to the green I've got on my palette. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to see if I can replicate that color. So dark around the edge, kind of yellow in the middle, lighter kind of in the halo, and we're going to give that a go. So same thing as before, you want some water and some kind of a brush. Again, if you don't have a brush, a Q-tip works a makeup brush, a toothbrush. You can use lots of different things. You could probably even use your fingers for this, but we wanna water this down so that it acts more like acrylic paint. So I am going to dip my brush in, get a little bit. You can see how it's loosening up on here and I'm gonna drag some yellow just to get that more pickly color that I'm going for. Okay, and I'm gonna start with the outer edge because looking at my photo, I know it's the darkest area. So I'm gonna keep adding drops of water in here until it's really runny, really flowy like watercolor because that's gonna absorb into my um, toilet paper a lot better than just dry acrylic paint, okay? So start painting your toilet paper and then go back into your water and add just, just a wet brush and you can see how it's gonna start to drag that color like it did with the watercolor. And it's going to start to absorb into your paper towel a little bit nicer. Okay, so now I've got kind of this darker edge and I'm going to use some yellow and white to make the color for the center. And I really, again, want that really runny. So add lots of water till it's really wet. And then you can start to add that to the center. And again, go back in with just some water and pull and dab. And what you're going to see is it's going to start to blend those colors together. And I'm actually going to go back and add a little bit more dark color around the edge because it's not quite as dark as I want it. Okay, here we go. All right. And you can add whatever, however you want this to look. Okay, don't forget about the other side. So do both sides. But that's a good way of using um, acrylic paint kind of it's similar style to watercolor just don't be afraid to add a little bit a little bit more water and then again you're gonna have to let this dry um, before you take pictures and, and assemble your sculpture